Hi there, welcome to Exam AZ900, Microsoft Azure Fundamental Study Guide. This is Episode 60, Azure Feature Updates and Product Changes. My name is Tim Warner. Today's skill in the Microsoft Azure Fundamentals Objective Domain starts with Describe Azure Pricing, Service Level Agreements, and Life Cycles, goes to the objective Describe Service Life Cycle in Azure, and our one skill here is called Describe How to Monitor Feature Updates and Product Changes. Go to timw.info forward slash az900sg for the study guide. Let's get to work. This lesson or this demo is really about how to stay up to date with Azure. And I find that the Azure Update site is probably your best bet because think of the nearly 200 services in the Microsoft Azure product portfolio. Each of those engineering teams is a group of human beings. Some of them are more committed to blogging than others. Some are more reliable as far as posting updates than others. You're gonna find not a tremendous amount of consistency, but the most consistent source of truth I found is the Azure Updates page, which as you can see starts with everything. Notice that the statuses are generally available, preview or in development, and you can filter the view using the controls. You can also change the product category just to look at specific services. And what these results are going to be are announcements, sometimes blog posts, mostly from the engineering teams themselves. And what you'll find when you go to one of those announcements is you'll normally find some roadmap information. There'll be some taxonomic tags that you can do some further refinement for. And to tie in with what we learned in the previous lesson, you can become aware of features that maybe you weren't aware of that are in private preview or public preview, and you can get involved in evaluating those services. Another site you should be aware of, even though it's not a Microsoft site, it's the Azure Charts. There is a whole lot here across the top. SLAs, for instance, this is a really nice explorer where you can hover over a product here and get details at a glance on what the Azure SLA is. Status is most aligned to what we're talking about in this particular lesson. Notice that you can hover over a product and the Azure status board will tell you what the status is. Preview means public preview and the number of regions that have been onboarded. If you give a click, it takes you to this public page at azure.com, the products available by region, where you can view detailed information on the service. In this case, I clicked on Azure Batch AI. So yeah, this Azure status board is really super useful. If for no other reason, it's just so fast being able to check it out this way. Lastly, if you've heard of Scott Hanselman, he operates the Azure Friday show, which is a show that you can catch at azure.com or you could get to it at YouTube. And this is a great way. It's entertaining, of course, but it's an excellent way to learn about new and upcoming Azure products and features. Normally what Scott or another host will do will have a program manager, a product manager, or maybe a software engineer from the team onto the show to discuss whatever it is that's in scope for that discussion. So that's normally a nice place to get, as it says here, trusted voices at the center of the Microsoft Azure ecosystem. Learning resources, number one, Azure Updates. I gave you this link in the previous lesson, but it's worth giving it to you again. timw.info forward slash APC1. And for Azure Charts, a very worthwhile reference, timw.info forward slash APC2. Scott Hanselman's Azure Friday is also worth a look and worth a subscription, timw.info forward slash APC3. Well, that's it. Notice that there's not a next lesson at the top of this slide. That's because as of this recording in late July 2020, we've reached the end of the road. At this point, we've covered every single skill on the AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals exam. I want to congratulate you if you've watched them all. I think that in itself is worthy of big accolades, and I look forward to hearing about your certification success. Stay in touch with me on Twitter at TechTrainerTim. My plural site courses are at timw.info forward slash PS, and my website is techtrainertim.com. Thank you so much for everything, and I wish you all the best. Take good care.